Oh, I got one. I got one. I got one, dude. Oh, got one. Got another one. Got another one. Right here. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. We're tight. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, folks, what's going on? Welcome back to the Fishing Norm YouTube channel, guys. Comment dates popping up down below, so subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment, be next videos, comment other day. Guys, not gonna lie, fishing has been tough. Really tough. That's why today we are fishing with the toughest fishing reel in the whole entire world, but also inside of Walmart. Zayden and I just drove three hours this morning from Tallahassee to Jacksonville because fishing actually has been that tough. I have never gone three days in a row in Tallahassee without catching like five fish each day. And we only caught two yesterday and like one the day before. And that's with four fish. Anyways, we're here at a new spot and I figure there's massive fish here. I've had really good luck in the last few times I've come. I need a tough reel to handle all these big fish. I think these $300 bait casters that I got, I don't think they're going to handle it. I think we need a tough ugly tough reel so we're just hoping they're inside i've done a video like this with yak pack and with ao before on their channel where they bought it but i never really got to like hands-on experience it i just held it once and i just remember it weighing more than my personal best bass that's the plan today we're in jacksonville there's big ends in like all the ponds around here instead of you know going my bait casters fish with the toughest rod also today's video has a sponsor Woo! Gas money! All right, I'm kidding. That's a terrible joke, all right? So guys, today's video is sponsored by a mystery tackle box. So this is like a new box that they're doing for Christmas. It's called the Days of Fishmas Advent Calendar. Advent? Advent? How can I not say that? Calendar 2021. So I don't know if you guys have ever, like during Christmas, I used to have this thing where it was like candy. So each day you would poke a hole open and you get like a piece of candy. Leading up to Christmas, this is the same thing but in fishing version. So Eli specifically asked me for Mystery Tackle Box not to open this, so let's go ahead and open it real quick. I think this is such a cool concept, guys. I would love to see this other times of the year too. Like maybe like just in summer too, like a summer box. So like you were only allowed to open like one section per day and it would be like all summertime fishing lures. I don't know. I thought this was like genius. I can't believe nobody's done it before, but these are gonna be a Walmart exclusive, which fits because we're at Walmart right now. So guys, be looking out in your Walmarts. It's like the perfect Christmas gift for any fisherman. If I got this for Christmas, I would be pumped. So I was told not to show off what's in this box because it's supposed to be a surprise. Like you're supposed to be surprised each day you open the next little tab. I'm gonna kind of ruin the surprise for you guys. I already opened yak packs as well. Okay, so here it is. I'm gonna kind of cover up, but that's what it looks like. And then so there's a ton of different sections that you're not allowed to see what's in them. But you just open them up like day, you can look at the top row, like day one, day two, day three. So you're only allowed to open one a day. So we're going to open a couple days here. And I'm going to leave the rest as a surprise for you guys. So you can't look at what I'm seeing, but it looks cool. I'm going to open up day 11. Oh my gosh, perfect for what we're going to need today. I also didn't bring any of my tackle. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. I was like, oh, Walmart will have everything. I hope they do, but if they don't. We got a uh, Guggen Squad mini clutch. You just go norm 10% off guggensquad.com, baby. We got the Guggen Squad mini clutch in the craw color. So that is absolutely insane. I'm going to go ahead and open up one more. I'll open up one more. Boom. Exo ribbons. Literally caught my PB bass out of uh, a secret lake by my place on this exact worm. So I'm pumped for these and I'll, you know, I'll just open one more. All right, we got hooks and I just lost half the pack in the actual thing. I promise it comes with more than one hook. I'll just open up one more, you know. Spinnerbait, baby. <laughs> white and chartreuse, my favorite color for a spinnerbait and a chatterbait is white and chartreuse. All right, I'm going to stop before Eli fires me. Guys, I also have another one of these boxes that I haven't destroyed yet that I'm going to be giving away in this video. All you guys have to do is be subscribed to the channel because we're trying to hit 500,000 subscribers. Leave a like on this video and then drop a comment down below. It could be about absolutely anything. You could just put a letter down there if you wanted to. And you're entered to win this. And also the reels we buy inside Walmart today because I will not use them after today's video. So if you guys want to win the reels I use and a fresh fish miss box, do all those steps. Make sure you guys enter the giveaway. But um, yeah, let's go inside Walmart now for real this time. I'm just trying to put off buying this tough reel, man. I just want to, oh my gosh, this is going to be a fun challenge though. I'm, I'm hype. I'm hype. Let's do it for real this time. Beep. All right, guys, we are here in the Walmart fishing section. This fishing section is crazy, guys. Like I've never seen a Walmart fishing section this big. And as you guys know, I've done my fair share of Walmart fishing challenges before. Look over here too. So there's like this whole aisle too that just goes on. And then we also have like frozen cut bait because we're in Jacksonville right now. So there's salt water and fresh water. So there's a ton of lures, which is perfect because I didn't bring any tackle. We do have the reels here too, by the way. Look, if this isn't the biggest reel selection I've ever seen at a Walmart before, our one in Tallahassee has like three fishing reels. And then all the rods up here, like look at all these combos, man. Like what is this? Real tree fishing? I mean, that looks kind of cool. There's probably like a thousand fishing rods and reels in here, which is just weird. Guys, today we are here for the world's strongest, the toughest, the heaviest. It's just the beefiest reel uh, I've ever seen. So they got them here. Let me show them to you guys real quick. So they have two different types. There's the ugly stick, ugly tough, you stuff, which is like a spinning 
combo, and then down here, they have the push button. So, I think we're gonna get one of each. The spinning $60. Push button's 27 bucks. Could be about a $100 challenge here. But I wanna have two rods so I can cast like a moving bait today and then also like a worm because I haven't been in Jacksonville fishing in probably like 10 months a year. So I don't really know what the fish are doing. So we're gonna have to figure that out today. I'm excited to fish with these reels today. I'm terrified though, because I know big ones live like in the city. But uh, let's get somebody to help us get these. All right guys, so we have the two reels. We have a spinning reel that weighs more than any bass I've ever caught in my whole entire life. And then we also have the push button reel. This one doesn't come with any line, and I also just thought of the fact I only have bait caster rods in my car, so we're gonna have to buy a Walmart spinning rod to match this. We could put this on a bait caster rod, the push button. I think we'll use this like as bottom. It comes with a line, it's probably like eight pound monofilament. So we're probably gonna run into trouble with this. But we'll buy a line for this one because it doesn't come with any and a rod. And we need a ton of baits because for whatever reason today, I just thought we didn't need any. And we do. So uh, let's get started here. Guys, we'll try to make this kind of quick, but I just want to show you what type of tackle I get for areas I haven't fished in like over a year. And then also thinking like fall fishing the time that we're in right now. So lure number one is going to be a fluke. So what's really cool about a fluke is when you're fishing spots you haven't fished before, you can fish it top water in the middle and on the bottom. So if you let it sink low enough, you can just drag it on the bottom or you can even put a bullet weight on one of these. You can twitch it in the middle of the water for like a moving bait. And then you can reel it really fast on top and walk it really quick on top for a top water lure. So this is a great like pond fishing lure to have if you only have like one rod and reel that you're throwing around. So we definitely need these. So I'm looking for worms and there's nothing on any of the shelves. And I really wanted like a speed worm because it can cover a ton of water. Look at this. They have them like in the pile here, like not even on a shelf, just laying here on the ground. And that's a really cool color too. So we got big contrast here, a shad, White kind of looks like a shad, so that's why I go with like white for this, but then a worm can be that darker color. So that way we got two different colors to try today. And the uh, the speed worm actually has a tail on it. So what's really cool about this is you could put a bullet weight on it and you can still swim it across the top of the water. It works like a big easy or like a paddle tail going across the top, get top water blow up. You can swim it just like a swim bait in the middle. And with the Texas rig too, you can just hop it up and down off the bottom like a Texas rig worm. So I also love, love speed worms for fishing ponds when you can only like have a couple combos and we only got two today so definitely the move so guys gold rattle trap has always been the move especially in florida and they got them here so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get two of them just to be safe because we might have like six pound line on that one and if we snap one off and we're all the way on the other side of town definitely gonna want two of these but a rattle trap fall especially but at all time of year rattle trap is like my go-to the clutch anything like that this is what they got here so this is what we're gonna use. We need a topwater, man. That's the one thing we're missing is like a dedicated topwater lure. All right, so we got two skitter walks right here. One is chartreuse, one is white. What do you think, a top or bottom? I, I know which one I want. Top. That's exactly chartreuse. what I was gonna say too. I literally I saw this and I remember, dude. I'll find the video, I'll tell you it so you can pop it up. We had a day with this lure in Jacksonville. We're dude, five, sixes. I think we caught an eight or a seven or something. It was. One of the craziest top water days of my life, and we're going to that same spot at some point in today's video. And it was like with a lure very similar to this. Not this exact one, but super similar, so good choice. So guys, we're gonna double down on these two, just because we have light line today, and there's potential for really big fish that could snap us off. So we have two of these, two of the traps, worms, flukes, we need spinning rods. Terrified for this. And then we also need line. You know? <laughs> we're gonna make today more of a challenge, man. I'm not excited for this. <laughs> I've fished with these before. We actually had like a fish off. You remember that? Where it was like a 1v1 with like the $5 Walmart rods. These were really tough, man. Like super bad. Like good. Like it was fun to reel in the fish, but not good for landing fish. So I think we either go with blue or orange. I don't know why. I feel like orange is cooler. It pops more. Maybe the fish will see it better. You think? Dude, feel the foam on this. This is like from a pool noodle. Oh my god. That's gosh. high quality right there. How much is this? This has got to be $9. So we have a $9 fishing rod. <laughs> At least we got good lures. <laughs> I don't know. All right, we have everything. Line, line. Sorry, guys. Uh, Yeah, this will work. Boom. 12-pound fishing line. All right, let's 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 get the fish in. It's going to be a trip. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys. So we are out here at the pond. Literally the pond. That's Walmart. This is the pond. We have no clue what we're doing. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so we have our Walmart bag and also like some of the stuff that we got from the, uh, the mystery tackle boxes in here too. We're going to do a whole video on that. I forgot to mention like in December. So you guys will be able to see everything that's inside. We'll do like a whole challenge on the whole box. I'm trying to think about what to throw. Well, let's unbox our reel first here. This is the push button. I figure too, because we got two rods and reels. You guys have been requesting for Zade to fish more on the channel. So I think we're going to have him throw around like some of these too and get your reaction on these because I mean technically a push button is like what everybody starts with oh, so yeah. this is like a starter reel I absolutely despise push buttons I love all fishing you know and like I think you can catch a 10 pounder on a $5 rod 
or a $500 rod. Push buttons just aren't my thing. You what know, I'm allowed to have my opinion, I guess. Is this gonna be my first reel? Are you giving Bro, me here. this to me? Hold this, this is so heavy. You're about to get a workout. <laughs> Yo, who needs dumbbells at the gym when you get to have the ugly stick reel? Guys, check this out, though. the ugly stick, ugly tough, SC10, gear ratio, three, eight to one, three bearing system. So three, eight to one, Zayn, that first number, you want it to be high. A three is not high. You know like how I got eight three to ones and eight six to ones and nine one to ones? This reel is like one third the speed. So every reel crank, the line doesn't move that. So this is terrifying. Like not good. Anyway, so I want to put this guys on my, uh, my Guggen Gold go-to. I figure because we got like six pound line on here, I was going to do like a muscle rod just so we could really get a good hook set. I feel like with the go-to with this lighter line, it won't snap the line as easy. Dude, that's like a solid metal cap. I've never seen a $20 reel like made. Like, why not make it out of plastic? Dude, somebody definitely returned this. Look, the line is all the way in the reel. All right, this reel is like legitimately, guys, I don't know if you can see. The line is going up and it's wrapped under the whole entire reel. Like, somebody definitely returned this. I just put it right back on the shelf is my guess. But we have the spinning reel right here, which took up literally 200 yards of line. The biggest spool ever, and this one is also just as heavy, if not heavier. Normally, when you want like a fishing reel, you want it like as light as possible with the highest function. They just said, frick it, we're putting the heaviest reel ever. We're just gonna make it. This thing is sturdy. You wanna feel this one too, Zay? Here, feel. It's a pretty, pretty heavy oh, combo. Yeah, no, that Four feels arms gonna be so hurting. heavy. <laughs> I'm thinking for this combo, if I can get that other one working, I'd love to have a moving bait and like a bottom bait on at all times. And I'd rather have you, Zay, throw in the bottom bait with like a worm, because I feel like that could be a little bit easier and it might be too grassy out here but i'm gonna tie this on the spinning combo because i feel like it'd be a little bit easier to throw this than on a push button then we're gonna try to fix your rod and reel and then we're gonna switch too because i want to try both of them and i want you to try both of them too these reels are ridiculous this is by far the heaviest reel i've ever fished with before and we've even fished with like offshore combos and stuff i can't believe i have i finally have nice combos and this is what we're doing now if there's not too much grass out here this could be like deadly dude who keeps guys i'm telling you i'm getting more and more famous it's my mom <laughs> Hey, Mom. Um, I'm out fishing in Jacksonville right now. I'm putting together an ugly, tough reel. It weighs like 90 pounds, and uh, we're about to go fishing. My mom goes, that sounds horrible. <laughs> oh, it's looking extra full, too. Looking sauce. Oh, yeah, I already... What's that fish? Oh, dude, look at that bait. Look at that bait. You see that? I'm probably going to get bit right here. Maybe, hopefully. Probably shouldn't have called it actually now that I think about it. I definitely feel like there's gotta be some fish over there. Oh, you got, no, you don't. Oh, it's the, the, yeah. oh no, you got, dude, you gotta have a fish. Do you? Yeah, I mean, something. Oh, dude, you got a fish, you got a fish, you got a fish. No way. Oh. <laughs> dude, I saw your line running. I was like, bro, get him in here. Yes, Zane. That's a good one too. That's a solid bass, bro. I, did not feel I, I saw those twigs moving. And yeah. I thought that was it. I thought those were, those were the twigs. Dude, thank goodness I was recording too. Dude, he freaking no. swallowed it too, man. Way. <laughs> yes. Hey, let's go. Dude, that is a solid, probably two pound bass right there, man. Dude, how was the fight? Norm told me that I had a fish on before I even knew. I saw some sticks moving there, and I literally thought that was what I got on. <laughs> and suddenly, it just jumped out of the water. Dude, show him off to that us real crazy. quick. That, that was nuts. Or hold him, like, hold him like under there, too. Yeah, give him a little, oh, yeah. Dude, he's, he's bellied up, man. Look he's got a thick that. tummy. All right, go ahead and give her the release, bro. That was nuts, Let's man. Go. It jumped so high out of the water, too. Here you go. <laughs> Zane, that was dude. insane. My first second bass of all board. time. <laughs> first that on the board epic. too the with twenty dollar push button, push man. Push button and the worm. Be smacking it out here, dude. If go. you catch a couple more on it, I'm gonna have to switch. <laughs> the rattle trap. I've had some luck like down there at this spot before. Like that worm, man. I mean, they just can't resist. And that was one of the bigger fish I've seen. No, I'm not gonna say that because I want to hype them up. But that was like a pretty big fish. That was a two pounder. So that's a solid bass to start it out on, especially on a twenty dollar reel. So yeah, dude. They love like a worm in this corner. And I think they're just so scared by my trap. But that's epic, dude. Guys, that was Zade's second fish of all time. And his first one was a five and a half pounder. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen that video, we'll pop it up right here. It was nuts. His literally his first cast ever with a bait caster in freshwater just caught a freaking five pounder. You're probably gonna catch another one right there, dude. They stack up in this corner, especially in the fall. They push bait all the way up here from the main lake. Speaking of people fishing, there is a group fishing over there in their backyard as well. <laughs> we're not the only ones at the pond that was nuts though man i saw it moving and i was like dude that's either the longest stick in the world or you got a fish on
Got one. Oh, he came off. Oh my God, dude, I got hammered. No, just like instantly just got, and he came off. That's a good cast right there. I'm kind of mad I just got hit and it came off. Not gonna lie, kind of salty. Oh, Jade's got another one. He's on, he, <laughs> dude. A little smaller, that's all right. <laughs> oh yes, let's go. <laughs> I don't want to. Yeah, don't don't break. My, you know you I can break my wrong, so okay. I don't. Wanna... I would forgive you. Okay. How do you how do you do it? Have you on have you unhooked a fish no, before? No, I've never unhooked a fish. So before. grab him by the lip, just like, but give him a solid grab so he doesn't move. Okay. And then you kind of just got to think the way it came in. Just do the reverse of how it came in. Like so, like down. yeah. So just push down. You got to kind of get a little bit of force. Zay's becoming a man right before our eyes. <laughs> You're becoming a country boy. Boy. Dude, that was honestly that's a perfect hook set. Like, it's right in the side of the mouth. Like, that's exactly how you want every hook set to be. It looks like in the textbook, right? Yeah, right yeah, out yeah. of the textbook. Oh, oh, you got it. You got it. Just keep pushing. There you hey. go. Hey. hey, we did it, guys. Nice, man. Give him the little sideways hold for us real quick. Oh, oh yeah. On there you channel. go. You Let's learn go. from the best, man. <laughs> Not how to Heck catch yeah. fish, but just how to make them look big. <laughs> Dude, that's a solid probably one pounder. That's one in a couple of ounce, like, couple ounces. Nice. Nice. There nice. we go, man. Heck yeah. Norm, catch up. I'm sorry, uh, dude, I'm gonna I, try I'd, be, to, I'd, be, I'd be catching all your fish. <laughs> you edit the videos, you catch all the fish. I don't even know what I'm here for, honestly. <laughs> bye bye. Whoa. Nice, bro. So how was so how was the fight? Did you feel that one? Yeah, that one, I, I felt so much more and he was like swimming right in the opposite direction. I just yeah. love how they jump out of the water. Like it is crazy <laughs> how high yeah. he flew out of the water. That was that was awesome. Yeah, but not as strong as the last one, obviously. Dude, I need to turn my ring yeah. off. I'm ruining the video. Sorry, guys. <laughs> guys, Zay catches one more. I'm tying on a worm or a fluke or something. I don't know why I'm so stubborn with this rattle trap, man, but I know like you'll probably catch another one right here. Like I got a good feeling. This has been a spot that we found that's like just so good. The whole other side of the lake, can't catch them right here. Amazing. Oh, that was so shallow. Oh, dude, bait's busting up here. Bass literally just ate bait right there. Oh, oh, that might not be a fish. What was that? It just stopped my line. Do I have a fish on? No, no shot. Oh, that could have been bad. I just hooked a big bag. <laughs> oh, I got one. I got one. I got one, dude. <laughs> yes. Oh, don't shake it. Dude, my rod's bending so much. He's fighting hard, even though it's a freaking tiny bass. Oh, I got the back hook in him. Let's go. Yes. Dude, cranked it. I was moving to go make my next cast. Came up and grabbed it, bro. Finally, I'm catching up to Zade, man. You still caught the biggest fish of the day, bro. This is probably like a one and a quarter pounder. Thick and healthy, eating up on shad. Gotta make those two guys over there fishing jealous. We've caught three and they haven't caught anything yet. No big deal. We're not the best fishermen in Florida. Maybe we are, I don't know. Kind of looks like it. <laughs> All right, see you little buddy, thank you. That fight on like a normal rod and reel, probably have them in like five seconds with this one. Like watch this, you just pull this line, so bendy, but it just, it makes the fight that much more intense. If I could hook a five on this, I would lose my mind. Like that would be nuts. This is fun though, this is a good time. I'm gonna work it back too with like a fluke or something as well, but. This weather is feeling so nice, dude. Like a cold breeze, a little windy. It's not 100 degrees out. I'm loving this. Oh, got one, got another one, got another one. Right here, right here, right at the bank. <laughs> dude, they're freaking cranking the trap. They're all chunky too. Oh, don't you end my life. Don't you do that. Dude, he literally snapped my line off, like clean off. Once I landed them. That's how light this line is, guys. So guys, check that out. They're all tummied out out here. I keep on saying tummied out because my boy Ao says that and I just want to be like him more. Anyways, <laughs> that's another probably one and a quarter. Beautiful bass right here. Dark green colors because there's a lot of vegetation in here. And uh, you know, that's just how this Florida bass be. But uh, we're gonna let her go. I gotta retie this. Thank goodness it didn't break off in the middle of the lake because this is my last trap because we slung the other one off at Walmart Pond. 
into the middle of nowhere. So I literally have one of these. Worst case scenario, I tie on some worms. <laughs> that seems to be working too. You want to stand up kind of cute right here right now? Why are you looking so cute though? I was born that way, genetics probably. Bro, what was that? Oh, I got one. I got one. Oh, he came off. No. Dude, something jumped in the water. I got another one. I got another one. He, get, he got me tangled, dude. Oh, my gosh. Dude, holy heck. I hope he comes back for it. Got him. Got him. Got him. Dude, he might be big. Dude, he's actually big, I think. He's freaking... Oh, it's a good one. There we go. Oh, that was epic. Zay, cast in there. Oh, you, you got oh. the camera guy. I forgot you're a camera guy. Oh, he freaking... Dude, I thought he was huge because of my rod. Kind of forgot I was fishing with this thing. Oh. Dude, there's multiple in there. I got bit like two times on my last cast, and they're pulling good, man. I think there's a big one somewhere in that group. So I'm going to let this one go. Like, literally... I saw one jump there, got distracted, got bit, missed my hook set. You need to get your worm in here too, Zid. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Wait. Mm. All right, guys, we're here at the next pond, meeting up with our boy, Robbie. Uh, he's probably going to think we're ridiculous pulling up with these astounding combos right here. I think he's already caught a few, so I haven't seen him. If the OG subscribers will know who Robbie is because he's been on uh, in a video like two years ago or something like that. But, um, what's up, man? Yeah. Let's go, man. You got it on too? Yeah, do you see our rods and reels Dude, that we're using? Sweet. <laughs> so we got the, um, wait, feel how heavy this is, first off, because people think I'm joking. That thing is a beast, man. <laughs> uh, how's the bite out here? What's the biggest you ever caught? Or give them like well, a breakdown real quick. The biggest I've ever caught out of here was a 10 about Jeez. four years ago on the other side, right over there by that little culvert over there. A couple weeks ago, man, I was out here throwing a popper on my kayak, dude, and I caught like four or five pounders like in a row, back to back, right in the middle. Holy so, cow, man. But there was a guy told there was a guy told me that he's been fishing this pond for like 14, 15, maybe 20 years, some crazy number. Yeah. And he said that he said that when he first started fishing, he caught a 14. We're gonna start casting with our rods and reels, hopefully not losing any big ones, because it looks like there's a lot of wood in here. And uh, see Thanks, if we can't sweet. catch any big ones. We got two, three hours, so yeah, let's do it. Me and Zayden now switch combos. I got the push button now, which honestly I'm pumped about. I think that spinning combo. Have fun with that, Zay. That thing is awful. It is so heavy. <laughs> yeah. Guys, we also norm rigged the little worm up here. I've been putting rattles in them, Robbie. I'm telling you, man. I don't know if you ever put worm rattles. See what makes a little bit of noise? Oh yeah. Like I put it in my speed worm. I've never done that. Like right here. So it's just. A little rattle, and when it's windy like this, yeah. dude, I'm telling you, they get really? aggravated. Where do you get those little rattles from? Anywhere? You know, like Bass Pro Shops Academy. Yeah. Yeah. So we've been doing that, and we caught a couple. We just like push them in there. Yeah. It's like they have like a kind of like a little point, and you shove yeah. it in the worm, and then I put it near the bottom. Yeah. It helps it stand better too, and yeah. then when it hits, it goes. Oh wow. That's so it makes a little bit of noise, yeah. and everybody throws like silent worms, I yeah. guess, and I feel like. Like, especially when it's windy and dirty water, they just yeah. hear it coming in yeah. and they're like... Have you caught a lot of fish on that lake? Yeah, we, we were out at one lake, dude, throwing silent worms for like three hours. Really? Nothing. Put a rattle in it. I'm telling you, we caught like eight fish and we caught like uh, two 10-pounders on it. So, really? Yeah, it's like, Jeez. it's a move, man. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. There we go. A solid 20-yard cast. Oh, there we go. Let's go. Oh, that's a, that's a good one too. Golly, man. Yeah, this is so much fun. I hate bait casters. Oh, it's a good one. You need me to land them for you? I got you. All right, set. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> dude, that's a tank, that's man. That's a freaking tank, dude. I told you. <laughs> do you have a skill? Because I definitely I don't. I do. Hop in the worm? Yeah, just hop in the worm. That's a solid bass. Nice. What, right, what are you going to guess? I'm going to say. I'm going to say 2 9. I'm going to say closer to 2. Let's see it. Oh, you were right. Two, two, it's two eight. Two eight. Let's go. <laughs> you were right. Dude, that's nuts, man. Literally, we haven't even moved yet. Yeah. Literally, I've been fishing the same spot since I got here. And that's, I just, that's your fourth, this, this one, fourth here, one here, but yeah. first one since we've got here. Yeah. I told you some good ones out here. Oh, the, now you got <laughs> me excited they're, they're, now, they're bro. Big, they're bigger than this, too. Trust me. I've caught way bigger than this. Jeez. goes. <laughs> so, guys, we, we walked up to a point here, and they're busting, and they're busting like crazy. Unfortunately... I have the uh, the best fishing reel of all time that is not going to get me a fourth of the distance I need. But we're going to try our hardest. Dude, that was nuts. Guys, and we literally saw a 10-pounder, like, jump out of the water. Florida is on a different level. <laughs> so he's staying at, like, the Marriott on that big pond. So that's where he's staying at right now. But in the wintertime? Yeah. They all, they 
were all up on the bank. Like got, him. Got, him. got him got him got him got him we're tight i don't think he's big oh yeah <laughs> that's a nice one r2d2 calling back up <laughs> dude he's freaking whipping i don't know what pound line came with this this is stock we're, we came fresh out of the package yes, yes. <laughs> thank you robbie for the spots man no problem man. <laughs> hey i say that i'm pretty good at setting the hook look at that i hooked him twice that's how you know that this is my job. That one probably, we don't need to scale. That one probably goes four. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's probably like a one and a half pounder. Guys, yeah, check that out. That is epic, man. That's so much fun. And they just take it and they start running with it. That was uh, my second fish on this reel. I definitely like this one more than the spinning. Zade, I think you're in agreement with me. Yes. Yeah, so Zade's over there just dealing with it, putting up the work, but um, yeah, sweet. We're gonna let her go. Nice. Nice, I meant to do that. Like for more Jacksonville trips. I might just move here. How many likes for us to move here, Zid? You're probably gonna say like three, three likes. I, <laughs> that was not planned. That oh was- my <laughs> oh We're my gosh. We're on the same God. wavelength. All right guys, three likes and we'll move to Jacksonville. Two on this thing, I love it. This was definitely the move. And this was one third the price of the spinning reel. Maybe it's the rod too on the other one. The, other, the rod's pretty yeah, weird, no. but yeah. All right, we'll keep on fishing. Got him, got him, we're tight, we're tight. <laughs> that was nuts, bro. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm running this way. Hold up, <laughs> I didn't realize she had dogs in her backyard. Oh, guys, I get excited when I hook fish and this lady had dogs in her backyard and I feel like she's mad at me. This is Robbie's neighborhood, so I don't want to get him in trouble here. <laughs> Dude, he's fighting so hard, man. Robbie, I'm sorry, I'm very loud. <laughs> oh he's actually bigger than i thought he was oh no my reel's gonna break oh oh he's better than i thought he was dude <laughs> oh, that's a good one we're, yeah we're fishing with like a 20 dollar reel so we felt like the the state record oh geez dude that's a chunk man that is a nice one. so guys probably my biggest one of the day like a two pounder two and a half pounder Absolutely nuts. I feel bad because their dog was in the backyard. I was freaking out. I'm gonna let him go real quick, actually. There he goes. So I felt bad because I caught one right next to the backyard. We're like on a, on a park right now, but there's houses on it too. He actually caught a 15 one. Is that what he said? 15 one? 15 one. 15 pound one ounce bass out of here like a couple days ago off of his dock where I just caught that right fish. There. So little we're all good there. now. Oh, that's the combo right there. He's using that right there. <laughs> By no means were they angry at all. He just wanted to come show us a fish, but I was like, oh great, I hooked a fish right in front of their dock. I'm gonna get angry, but nah, it was all good. But I also, I overreact when I catch fish, I get really excited. So I kind of felt bad and their dog started barking. I thought they were mad at me. Guys, we're oh! taking thumbnail pictures of Robbie. Oh, oh, he got off. <laughs> no! <laughs> Guys, we're taking thumbnail pictures before the sun goes down. Robbie just had a freaking good one on. I don't think it was a 15 pounder that guy caught, man. I'm sorry to break your heart. But guys, this is probably gonna wrap it for today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys aren't subscribed, and you haven't, remember to enter the giveaway too, so you can win that mystery tackle box and these reels. All you guys gotta do is leave a like on the video, subscribe, drop a comment down below. Robbie, thank you for taking us to your spots, man. I appreciate it. Welcome, it was a fun Welcome. trip. Guys, let us know Anytime. if you want Anytime. us to come hang out with Robbie more, because yeah, you're awesome. saying that's true. <laughs> <laughs> you're saying the boat, kayaks. Boat, ki oh yeah, we got the spots. Got a ton of spots. Oh, yeah. So. I'm itching for a big bass, guys. We got a lot of things. That we're doing. We're going on a lot of trips. Little teaser. We're going to, to Washington with, you guys probably guess a YouTuber. Uh, we're going to Alabama next week. Going to Texas tomorrow. So a lot of cool collabs coming. I'm super excited for them. But uh, yeah, let's take the thumbnail pictures, Aid. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next fishing adventure, Fish Bump, I'm out of here.